welcome. Uh, thank you all for being here at the Partners for Possibility Learning Circle 20 celebration event, which means that there have been 20 groups of principals and business leaders who have traveled a year-long journey um, of leadership development together. This is the 20th group, and boy, has it been quite a... Uh, a wonderful and challenging road that we've been on. So this partnership, um, the both Itumalings are actually good friends of each other, and that's uh, how uh, Tumi uh, got roped into this program through Itu. <laughs> and um, <laughs> um, you'll see this this partnership. Um, I think they, they really experience the, the complexities of um, what it is to run a school and also the realization of uh, the fact that a year is a very short time. And, um, you know, this partnership has, has, this is a partnership that's really kind of crawled into my heart. I, I think uh, Tumi is, is one of these uh, people who um, has this charisma that, um, is just is, is quite amazing because when he shows up and he's a very busy man but when he shows up he just shows up so fully and beautifully and um, I think that Alman has been very blessed to have him as a partner um, and um, Alman has also one of those principles who has he soaks up everything that he's been given he's he's at every meeting he's at every you know he, he's just um eager all the time to learn and, and grow and um yeah i'll let i'll let you tell your story <laughs> so Elman, thanks Good evening, colleagues. Good evening. Uh, it's nice to hear other people's stories. <laughs> now it's my time. Um, yes, I'm Elmon Jeremy. I'm Sanga. Uh, I'm a principal of Ebo Mini Primary School. Uh, it's a primary school in Ivory Park, <coughs> situated in the squatter camps. It's a school which have a big number uh, of learners. We have 2,475 learners. <laughs> I've got 62 educators. I'm blessed to have two deputies of which I invited them to be here today. Um, I have 30 years teaching experience, of which out of those years, 19 years being a principal. Uh, I have indicated that uh, I'm leading a school in a squatter's camp. There are so many challenges. Uh, I'm happy to have Itu, <laughs> another person Itu now, but this one is Mr. Mahabane. It's a busy person, but he has been so helpful to come to our school, <coughs> going around, see the infrastructure, and was able to lend uh, his hand, although he's a busy man. There were so many challenges, but I will start by saying why I decided to join the program. It was out of curiosity again, just as one of my colleagues has said, I heard of this partnership, a Sifonia of South Africa, and then I said, no, as an old man, <laughs> let me come in to get more, more energy and to refresh my, 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 my memory. And then that has broadened my horizon, honestly speaking, to most of the principals that are here. Uh, the workshop that I've attended are far different from the workshop that were organized by our own basic education, because they're quite different. Uh, they had an impact. Challenges. Um, if 
you are teaching more than 60, 65 learners in a class, you will definitely be demoralized. <laughs> Demotivated, and then uh, before, before the program, my SMT was uncapacitated, dealing with the overcrowding, the infrastructural problem, and also the low academic achievement or performance. What we did together, together with my business partner or leader, we said, no, let us deal with the demoralization, the unmotivated staff, and also to request the Department of Education, Caltech Department of Education, to give us more classes. I'm happy to report that uh, definitely we were given four classes, we were given toilets, and uh, we were also given more human resource. We were given three growth posts for educators. That has helped us a lot. No, although not really, but it's a step in the right direction. <laughs> Uh, that has also improved our academic, academic uh, performance drastically. The benefit of the program, I, I have already indicated that we have uh, right workshops that were run, I, I, I still remember of about three or four workshops and then we made use of that. That has uh, really empowered us. The time to think, the floor is constructing, and also the rebuilding communities. Those three workshops were key to the school improvement. <laughs> that was key, key, key. And then I would like also to thank Ito Meleng as a visionary business leader, because he did not say, I was introduced to a school that is uh, far remote in a quarter camp. He was there to say, I'm going to do my level pass to help the school. That has helped us very much. This is what he said, but at the end of the day, I will also call him to come uh, just to say one or two words. Um, Yes. Uh, what I learned from the business partner, I have already indicated that he is a person who is committed, his humility coming down to the level of the poor community of Ivory Park, and also has helped the SMT to improve uh, at a higher level. Is that all? <laughs> yes. What I did, what I led as a person, I I want to be honest because I won't buy uh, your, your your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I was impatient. I wasn't a good listener. Uh, I was. Uh, interrupting if a person comes with a, a problem. In, in, in other words, I was so conclusive. You will tell me my problem, then I will conclude to say, but you are going there. <laughs> <laughs> through, <laughs> through this partnership, through the program, I'm a change man. Uh, I'm now a good listener. <laughs> I'm now a good listener. Uh, I remain calm. I listen to what you are saying, and then I will also <clears throat> say what is the solution to your problem, then at the end of the day, then I'll be able to advise. Uh, I'm a change person. Confident-wise, I'm now confident. Uh, whenever an official comes into my school, I will definitely uh, approach the person, I won't say, I, I don't know, I'm not really sure. He will say, to say, to say I'm confident. Um, those are the few things that uh, we have done. The thing that I can mention, 
out of the program is that one of contracting. <laughs> Flores contracting. I've contracted with the SMT, contracted with the parents, contracted with the teachers, and also with the learners, young as they are. They also contracted to say they will be committed to improve the results. Uh, parents have committed themselves to say they will attend all the meetings, parents' meetings arranged by the governing body. And that has helped us. Whenever a meeting is called, you will think that uh, uh, perhaps it's one of the organization's meetings. But it's a meeting called by the SGP for the parents. That is a great, great achievement. Thank you very much. And then I will allow you to say one or two words. But definitely, I would like also to thank Gina for this program. I've indicated I've got a lot of experience, but this has been a, a very good program. Thank you very much. Confusion, confusion, but it's fine. Do you want to go back uh, to your part? Um, the, sure. Look, I think uh, the one before. Uh, I think both Dina and, and Elman have been incredibly generous. Um, actually, uh, I think uh, um, <clears throat> I have to say, uh, while I think Elman and I have built a bond, I spent most of this program. Uh, really concerned about the fact that I wasn't uh, I wasn't available enough, um, <clears throat> but I think you know through the relationships developed, uh, it was clear to me that uh, somehow I was able to provide what he needed, and I and I think that's important, you know, and it goes to to this point as well about about perspective, and I think um, I think as business uh, the term business leaders, you know, we're, we live in an environment where it's all about kind of uh, doing and it's all about results. And I think we sometimes kind of lose a perspective about what achievement really means or what impact really means. And I think that just working with Elman, I was able to kind of gain a perspective. And certainly, and the interesting thing that he assured me that actually I was being beneficial and that the relationship was working, that was quite interesting. Um, I mean, one of the things that really is extraordinary about this thing is that it, the challenges that these schools face is extraordinary. You know, we've spoken about you. You all heard about how many people are in the school. It's uh, it's an extraordinary environment. You can just see the infrastructure challenges. Um, I hope we'll still work together to try to find them. But again, you know, it showed me the limits of again. And I've always thought I'm in, I'm a creative person. But when you're in a school, <laughs> so anyway, I'm done. I think the point that I'll end on is that I think that uh, uh, this is a relationship that will continue. Um, and I hopefully that uh, it's a relationship that will, uh, over time, uh, move from incre incremental progress to kind of more impactful progress. Thank you, Elman, and thank you, Dina. <laughs>